you have cute little snake. Well, he's, he's come back. Lovely. H-E-R-B-E-T. H-E-R-B-E-T. Hello. My name's Ron Lilly. Yeah. I'm the um, Bali Snake Patrol person. This is my my helper here, Herbert. Now, I've been living in Bali for quite a long time, and what I do is I I respond to emergency calls from people who telephone me or email me telling me they have a snake in their house. So I go there, hopefully I catch the snake, the people are happy, the snake's happy, I take the snakes home, I take some photos, and then I let most of them go. This one, this one is, a, these are all local snakes that I have here. And um, this one is three years old. Her name is Sari. She's a reticulated python. She's only about, well, just over a meter long now. But I've had her for three years. I handle her a lot. I take her to schools. She's nice and tame. She's a good advertisement for the snake uh, snake phobics out there. The skins are very, very nice. Now, I should say that there are no snake farms in Indonesia. So all the snake bags, shoes, belts, wallets, they're all made from wild snakes. Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to kill the snakes because they do a very, very important job keeping the rat populations down. The rats, if you take all the snakes out of the system, then the rats can eat one third to one half of the crops. So it's very expensive when you have no snakes. But people do, uh, apart from the skins, people do, people do eat snake meat, they drink snake blood, you can go to snake blood restaurants where they cut off the head, they drain the snake blood into a glass, they mix it with the heart, the gallbladder, the brain, and the spinal cord, they mix it all up, they add some tea, sometimes a little Cointreau, some sugar to make it sweet, and then they drink it. I don't think it's a very good, I don't think that it works really, but um, people believe that these things make them strong. I would rather see the snake alive like this. I think they're very beautiful. Um, what else can I tell you? There are 45 different kinds of snakes here in Bali, land snakes of which six are possibly dangerous to people. It's very hard to get the medicine for snake bite here, so that's one of my campaigns, is to uh, one day have a snake bite facility here in Bali where they make anti-venom. They don't have one anywhere in Indonesia yet, but a lot of people do get bitten by snakes. A lot of people bite, die from snake bite, but they're mostly poor farmers who don't have any money for medicine. But as you see, snakes are people too. Oh, I, I, started, um, I started catching snakes when I was about eight years old in England. There aren't so many snakes in England. And then as the years went by, I joined snake clubs. I had snakes, different kinds of snakes as pets. I then worked in a couple of very big snake collections in England. That's where I learned to handle all the venomous snakes from Africa, South America, Asia. The cobras and the vipers and the rattlesnakes. And then eventually I came to Indonesia to do a reptile survey. And... Um, never look back. So for someone like me, Indonesia is a good place still. Uh, the big problem in Bali is that because there's so much development going on, 
the snakes have nowhere to live anymore, so they move into people's houses. That's where the problem starts. But the thing is, the more people there are, the more rubbish there is. The more rubbish there is, the more rats there are. The more rats there are, the more snakes there are. So it all works out in the end. Ones of this size, I get, I get people from my village bringing them to me because they get into the into the chicken houses. They crawl through the wire because the head can get through the wire like that. They eat the chicken and then they can't get out again because they have a big lump. Oh, yeah. But you don't get really, really big ones here anymore. Three and a half meters, maybe four meters maximum. Well, they can uh, they can phone me. They can email me. RPH Lily at yahoo.co.uk. But I have people now. I have people not only from Bali. I have people from all over the world contacting me, which is really nice. A lot of people coming on holiday, of course, they want to know about what happens if they meet a snake when they're in Bali. I think one of my one one of the nice things to do is to is to show snakes that are not hurting people, that they don't hurt people, and then I take them to like one like this. I can take to a school, introduce the children to them. Tell them about snake safety. I want to keep their eyes open because this is the tropics, you know. If you live in the tropics, there are snakes. But you can avoid it, you can avoid being bitten. And there are so many people who come and they touch the snake for the first time. And that's always, I think, people say, oh, I've been, always been afraid of snakes. And now I'm not so afraid anymore. That's a nice feeling. The one like this one, like Sari here, she's a good, she's a good advertisement for snakes. She's very calm. She's very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful condition. Her skin is in beautiful condition. She's not rushing around madly. You want to hold her? Hello, you. Yeah, you've got a <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think So beautiful. Very interesting feeling. It's the first time having a snake like this and it's uh, good. I don't know, it's beautiful. Kind of getting a slow massage or something when it's uh, walking around you. Fantastic. You should really try that, uh, this and uh, you will not be scared of snakes anymore after this. <laughs> well, just respect them, that's all. Yeah. And know that the snakes are here. Yeah. Keep your eyes open. There's people, people, the, the biggest problem here is people uh, walking at night without a flashlight oh, yeah, yeah. in the dark. Yeah. Or just not looking where they're going yeah. and then they step on them. Yeah. A big giant human being yeah. stepping on a small yeah. snake is... It's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. yeah, they look a bit scary, but they are green. They look, they look, um, they look very strange, actually. Let's, let's see if we can get it in the sunshine. That's a beautiful snake. Beautiful green, huh? My skin. Yeah. Well, this one I'm not letting other people handle because it's a little bit wild, but it's nice and relaxed here at the yeah. moment. It's nice and relaxed. This is called a vine snake. <laughs> <laughs> there are snake charmer types who take these snakes, the vine snakes, little ones. Yeah. They feed them in through their nose. They have them quiet in their nose. Well, probably after the people seeing this, they probably get a bit less afraid of a snake. Well, there Beautiful are lots creatures. of things to be afraid of. Yeah. And, and, and uh, snakes. I can understand people being afraid of snakes. Yeah. But it's mostly because they don't know what they're going to do, or they don't know about them. 
And uh, I think a little bit of education, a little bit of awareness. If it can take the fear away, that's a good yeah. thing. People yeah. just have to be careful that they don't step on them, that's all. Yeah. 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 Exactly, yeah. yeah. Now you yes. Thank you so much, and remember people, don't be scared of the snakes, they are beautiful creatures. <laughs>